Rhonda came with us and listened. She created a story from what she heard, and she took this story to Lanth and a group of young artists. Together, they brought the themes and ideas from our story to life with drawings and digital graphics. Today, we're here to unveil this visual story that they created together. A story about what UConnor's redesigned school curriculum looks like, and about what our communities want to see happen in education for UConn students to be living in Yukon and thriving in life. Yeah, um, so I have uh, a group of folks who work with me at the department and we had uh, visited British Columbia to see what some of the districts there were doing around the new curriculum. And some of them had uh, attempted to do visual representations of what it looked like. And we, my team thought that would be a really good thing to do for the Yukon. And um, I, I had the opportunity then to try and make that happen. And uh, I knew right away Will Merkel would be the perfect storyteller to pull together the story. Uh, it was harder to figure out how to visually show the work. So as your previous question uh, you know, uh, mentioned, there were many different media that we could have chosen to express the artwork. And uh, in the end, we, we settled on uh, drawings. So those illustrations were being, uh, that were, they were collected. One is throughout the year, um, just at different places where we were, um, where I had went and asked permission, or got some ideas of, about what it meant for people to live in Yukon and thrive in life. So that was ideas that came from the REM in Faro in May, and, uh, and he, Waiters Elementary students. So there's some illustrations there that we got inspired by. And also the second place is um, with the Youth of Today, uh, with Lance and um, the kids at the Youth of Today Society. So all the illustrations are being done by the Youth of Yukon, which is what we really want.